Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Supergirl. And before I start talking about this episode, do you want to give you a little bit of an update? Sorry I haven't had videos in like a week or two. I've been really sick this week, so um, sorry about that. But we are going to talk about Supergirl, so very excited to talk about this episode. And uh, if I sound a little sick in the video, that's why. Uh, not because we're talking about Supergirl, but because I was sick this week. <laughs> uh, let's start talking about this episode, uh, which is a heavy uh, storyline with the Daxamites. So, mon -El's parents come back to try to uh, bring mon -El back to their world and put a bounty on Supergirl's head, which was a really fun storyline to, to explore. I think other shows would have just done that storyline and that's it for the whole episode, but it's cool how complex Supergirl is and how they could weave in all these different storylines and make things that we've seen in superhero television shows before um, feel original. So I like that. I like that it wasn't such a heavy point of the story, but it was still a really fun superhero thing to do was uh, put a bounty on the superhero's uh, head. Uh, and we get to learn a little bit more about mon -El's parents, uh, where mon -El's mom is very vicious by the end of the episode after she doesn't get what she wants, which is mon -El going uh, going back to their planet, and she kills her husband because of it. And we just see how ruthless she is as, I guess, the villain of the season, really. Which is another cool thing about Supergirl is you never know who the villain of the season is. I like it's not that straightforward, here's the villain of the week, here's the villain of the season, because we had a couple of villains of the season, I would say, and some really uh, good developed villain of the weeks. So uh, this was a strong episode for mon -El and Kara. If you like their relationship and you miss their relationship, you get some cute moments in this episode. And then the B story is with Alex and Maggie, where Maggie has been kind of keeping some secrets from Alex and and find and Alex finds out that Maggie cheated on uh, her ex-girlfriend and that's why they haven't really been able to talk even though they had a very serious relationship and I really liked how um, they delved into that story and I think usually when you would have a story like that it would just be you know a lot of drama and you would see oh them on the verge of breaking up or something but they didn't go that route. It was more of Alex trying to make Maggie open up and, and understanding why she can't open up. Um, and I like that. I liked how supportive Alex was in this episode. And it's interesting that it's Maggie who's keeping the secrets. You would think it's Alex because Alex is more related to the superhero. And, and usually with these shows, it's the superhero and their friends keeping secrets. So it's interesting it's vice versa in this relationship. It's Maggie keeping the secrets and Alex being pretty open, even though Alex didn't reveal that her sister, Supergirl, uh, Maggie ended up finding out anyways uh, on her own. And, and Maggie is never like, oh, well, Alex, why are you going to the DEO? Uh, so their relationship kind of works in that way where, you know, they, they're able to do their own thing. Uh, and uh, it doesn't seem like they're keeping secrets, at least on Alex's part. So I like that because I feel like usually there's that drama when when you have the... Um, when, when you have these type of relationships and the other person doesn't know about the superhero. Uh, because still, I don't think that Kara knows that Maggie knows that she's Supergirl. But anyways, that was kind of a longer tangent. Not tangent, but off-topic type thing. Uh, but yeah, I did like that uh, B story and I thought it was fun. And it's great that Maggie and Alex always get some good amount of screen time. And another uh, smaller story that happened here was with uh, Linda Carter's character, the President of the United States, uh, where we get to see what type of alien she is. Uh, and it's cool that we're kind of getting, uh, delving a little deeper to that. I don't think we're going to get a big story with her this season, but maybe uh, next season we'll like have an episode about her alien race and Carr having to deal with that, uh, or whatever story comes along with that. So overall, uh, I had a fun time with this episode. I liked the action sequences with Kara, Wynn, mon -El, and Martian Manhunter on the ship. And it was a, a good character episode. Uh, the one problem is that we have to wait another month for a new episode of Supergirl. So that's a really long wait. I didn't expect that hiatus. So I'm like, what? April 24th we have to wait until? And it looks like there's some really interesting Lena Luthor and Kara stuff coming up, and I really like their dynamic. So 
I guess we have to wait. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought. This is Comic Uno. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.